Hey everyone, uh, we're just going to be performing an epidural on this doll. It's in for a complex pelvic fracture repair. Um, we're using a combination of morphine and lignocaine. So we're going to be placing this epidural um, without any sort of radiographic assistance, but that's perfectly fine. There's lots of checks that we can do. Uh, what we're going to do first is feel for the ileal wings. Um, in this dog, it might be slightly askew because it does have an ileal wing fracture, but they're mostly held in place by the sacrum, which is good. We're going to then feel medially for the um, spinous processes and feeling where L7 is going to sit. L7 usually drops a little bit further um, down than L6, so if you feel one that's tall and then come back down, that's usually the one you want. Uh, and then we're going to go just quarterly to that and putting our needle in perpendicular to the skin. There's a little divot that you can kind of see my finger falling into here. That's the space between L7 and S1. So we're going to pop it as on midline as we can, trying to keep it nice and central. This is a small dog, so it could be a little tricky, but once we are kind of in the depth that we think we are, I'm going to move cranially slightly, and if I still feel that I'm just hitting bone, we'll move a little quarterly. And then at one point we should feel it pop through into our epidural space. There we go. So I felt a little pressure change. We had bone, 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 and then it's gone through. Sometimes you'll get a little tail twitch at that same time as you go close to the nerves in the quarter equina. We're then going to take our stylet out. And there's again a couple of techniques that you can do here, uh, but we're going to do a hanging drop technique, which is to grab our epidural now and squirt some of the uh, liquid into the uh, end of the hub. And we're going to try and see if that gets sucked down into the epidural space. Um, it should be under negative pressure, and if we haven't punched it a few times trying to get in there, just go right to the top for me. Okay, and then we're going to move our needle ever so slightly and see if we can get that to suck down. I'm getting a huge amount of negative pressure in there. There shouldn't really be any disruption to this one from the uh, injury itself. What I'm going to do now is grab our epidural itself and push it in. I'm pretty confident with the placement of how it feels, so we're going to push on there and if we have no, you can see there's no pressure there whatsoever. And that gives me confidence that we're then in the right spot for that epidural.